Hi, everybody. It's Friday afternoon, and Maria and I are here at church in our separate offices, being careful about protocol and continuing to think of all of you and praying for you, for your safety, for your health, and especially for as strong and positive a spirit as you can possibly have, each of you during this strange time that we're all living through. Probably you have already heard about our plans for worship this coming Sunday. We will again be uh, going on Facebook Live. This time we'll start at 9.50 to give everybody a chance to kind of settle in and change any settings and controls that you need to so that you can um, see and hear as clearly as you want to. So 9.50 to get situated and then 10 o'clock will actually begin the worship service. And you will see that there will be fewer of us here in the physical space on Sunday and that we'll be trying to keep a good distance from each other physically. And for now, Salford is continuing to be Salford. The Facebook Live service was such a good opportunity for our community to be together in the ways that we can these days, and I really look forward to that opportunity again on Sunday. Pastoral visitors are continuing to make individual contacts. Youth groups are beginning to meet online to continue with the fellowship and faith formation that we do. And we're beginning to be in touch with the existing smaller groups in Salford, such as adult Sunday school teachers and table fellowships and small groups about how those groups can be places of support at this time. I think many of us are experiencing a jumble of thoughts and feelings during these days. Fear, anxiety, deep unease, are all a natural part of what it is to be human as we go through this experience. How wonderful it is that we also can still laugh and sing and make jokes and point each other toward beautiful things. Even as we think about toilet paper and bleach and dried beans and a an seemingly endless list of provisions that we might need, we are seeing so many resources coming to us from all over. Surely that is God, God with us and God among us. God who has said to us again and again, fear not for I am with you. So many beautiful things have been written and shared in just this past week and a half alone. Here are a couple excerpts from one of them. So it falls upon each of us to kindle love's light, to quietly take the initiative presented by necessity. How we creatively and carefully respond, even in forced isolation, will define the kinds of people and communities that emerge. This broken world is in our hands. And you are the spark that ignites a flickering lamp and lets us see again, face to face, the holy light reflected in every other. Since we are not abandoned, we must refuse to abandon one another. And so receive this Scottish blessing. May light shine out of the two eyes of you, like a candle set in the window of a house, bidding the wanderer come in out of the storm. And as the storm continues to swirl around us, let us remember that we can and are holding on to each other firmly and holding on to our God, who is always with us. We wish you well. We think of you often. We are praying for you constantly. Do take care. Be well. <laughs>